how's working with Ben as your director? I mean, I just remember seeing Cable Guy and Reality Bites. I mean, these are movies that are like a part of the fabric of like why I wanted to do what I I'm doing, I'm lucky enough to do, and, and just to be able to be a, in one of his films is crazy. I, I love him as a director, I've always loved his work as a director. What really got to me was how hard he works, because he produced it, stars in it, acts in it, and he was just relentlessly present. I couldn't believe I was there, I was kind of out of my mind with excitement and had to tamper it down to be the bad guy. The bonding and the connection that, uh, with um with my friends on the film, the production designer, Jeff, and, uh, and, and the actors, and going off to Iceland, all of us together, and sort of discovering the place together, and then uh, sort of braving the elements, which is really, you know, be, when you're in Iceland, it's, the weather is so severe, and it changes so quickly, and we had these challenges of having to make the movie and get through all that. To me, that whole experience, I felt everybody was so connected and wanting to make the same movie. When I read the script, and I saw what it was all about, I thought, well, this is my story, you know, and I'm Walter Mitty, and you're Walter Mitty. You know, we're all trying to get from here to there, so it's really inspiring on that level. It reminds me of movies I kind of grew up with, like Chariots of Fire, um, where it's a, a big canvas, but we're talking about really intimate things that everyone can feel and relate to. Um, and I think it's really beautiful. I think it just reminds you to li live life and put your computer away and look up and um, live live a little bit in this world that's with what's in front of us. I am so excited because it's such a good movie and I think everyone's going to love it. We've been working a long time on the movie and for it to be premiering here in, in this sort of environment with this audience is, is great, you know, because the people who are coming here are film lovers and um, you know, for me, AFI has always represented this sort of, besides being, you know, this great school, the idea of, you know, the history of movies and the sort of caretaker for the history of films. Every year, this festival has all the best movies, it seems, of the season. So I'm really honored to be here. What advice would you give to our up and coming filmmakers, our next generation? Wow. Um, well, just keep doing it, no matter what. You have to love doing it. Yeah, I met. Uh, Costa Gavras, who's a great filmmaker, when I was a kid, I went to see this movie he had done called Missing, and my mom took me to the some screening, and he was there, and I told him, I was like maybe like 10 or 11 or 12, I said, or 15 or something, I said, I want to be a director, and he said, I wish you courage. And I thought, well, you know, he's a political filmmaker, and, and I, you know, I think that's, that's what you need, is the courage of your convictions, and just, you know, directing his point of view, and just do what you think is good.